we are going to be seeing a huge ridge of high pressure that dominated us yesterday. It's making its way across the central United States, and it's the cold front today that brought us about 10 to 20 degrees cooler than what we were feeling at this time yesterday. But the cooler air it is not going to last for much longer than this. Unfortunately, we are expecting a big warm up on the way by the time that we step out for the later parts of the upcoming week. But I do want to let you all know I'm going to step back over here really quick, show you the A's forecast because it is going to be a chilly one out there tonight. I hope everybody can enjoy themselves. These chillier temperatures again, enjoy it. Not only the game, but the cooler air while you can because mid to lower 60s to upper 50s, a little bit of fog out there. It's going to feel very, very nice and it's not going to feel that way for much longer. Again, by tomorrow, it is going to be significantly warmer. So right now, temperatures all across the Bay Area, it's actually really impressive how much cooler they are compared to yesterday. Our inland locations, 22 degrees cooler right now in Concord, 21 in Antioch and Livermore, 14 in Fremont. Yes, significantly cooler for our inland locations compared to yesterday at this time because we're dealing with a bit more fog and a bit more cloud coverage. Temperatures out there aren't cold by any means. They are just cooler than what they were yesterday. Right now we're sitting still in the upper 70s, likely going to stay this way throughout the rest of the evening and getting cooler and cooler from here. Still sitting in the mid to upper 60s to even upper 50s in Mount Tam, where again the chill is going to take hold overnight tonight, but it is not going to last much longer than that. We're going to be looking at our cloud coverage arriving overnight tonight, and those clouds are going to allow our low temperatures to get a little bit cooler. So all across the Bay Area, these cool overnight low temperatures are going to stick around. We won't all be sitting in the 50s, waking up early tomorrow morning, no longer seeing those mid 60s for our inland locations. Everybody is going to be getting back to what they should be for the morning hours, at least by the afternoon hours. That's when we are expecting a little bit more of sunshine. So the clouds will peel back from our coastal community or from our inland areas by the afternoon hours and maybe even a little bit more sunshine closer to the coast. And that's going to allow our high temperatures tomorrow afternoon to warm right back up. We'll be back into the upper 80s compared to mid 70s like we're feeling right now and we'll be back into the mid to upper 60s closer to the coast. Coastal communities won't be seeing nearly as big of a warm up by the later parts of the upcoming week, but everybody is going to be feeling those gradual warming temperatures through Thursday. Thursday and Friday. Again, today, upper 70s. Tomorrow, upper 80s. Friday, upper 90s. About a 10 degree temperature jump over the next 48 hours. We're going to continue to see more moderate heat by the weekend of weather ahead of us, and it's going to be a lot more seasonable by the weekend. So if you do have any outdoor weekend plans, when most of us do, it's going to be a really nice weekend before early next week. We are already tracking our next heat wave that's going to bring 80s back to areas around the bay and for places near the coast. We're also going to be seeing really warm weather returning 70 degrees Friday, getting into the low 70s early next week. This roller coaster ride of weather continues as we step out even later into the fall season. Liz back to you. All right, Zoe, thank you.